NHL players who were robbed of a Conn Smythe Trophy. 1. Mike Richter, 1994, when Brian Leach won the Conn Smythe Trophy. Brian Leach had an amazing postseason in 94, but without Mike Richter, they do not win the cup. In the 94 playoffs, Mike Richter was 16-7 with a 2.07 GAA, a .921 save percentage, and 4 shutouts. If you take away Mike Richter from the Rangers, they may not even get past the conference finals. 2. Martin Brodeur, 2003, when John Sebastian Jaguar won the Conn Smythe Trophy. Jaguar had an amazing postseason in 2003, but he was on the losing team. In the 2003 playoffs, Brodeur was 16-8 with the 1.65 GAA, a .934 save percentage, and 7 shutouts. In the finals, Brodeur recorded 3 shutouts, which is pretty remarkable. Rarely does a goaltender on a winning team have the postseason that Brodeur had and not win a Conn Smythe Trophy. 3. Phil Kessel, 2016, when Sidney Crosby won the Conn Smythe Trophy. Sidney Crosby was remarkable in the finals, but he was pretty quiet in the first two rounds. Phil Kessel led the Penguins in points in the playoffs with 22. Kessel was also an instrumental part of the Penguins' best line in the 2016 playoffs. 4. Wayne Gretzky, 1987, when Ron Hextall won the Conn Smythe Trophy. Ron Hextall was without a doubt the MVP of the Flyers in the playoffs, but he was not the MVP of the playoffs. The MVP of the playoffs was Wade Gretzky, the great one, who had 34 points. Perhaps the NHL gave the trophy to Hextall because Gretzky already won too many trophies. 5. Mike Bossy, 1983, when Billy Smith won the Conn Smythe Trophy. Billy Smith was not even the MVP of his team in the 1983 playoffs. Mike Bossy was. Bossy led the Islanders in goals, points, and had five game-winning goals in the 1983 playoffs. Billy Smith won the Conn Smythe Trophy because Mike Bossy already won the Conn Smythe Trophy the previous year. Next, five NHL players who are massively underrated. <laughs>